But you are a war bride. Yeah. Well, I got to the East Germany after the prison camp, and then uh, I went to Berlin again because we had a, a agreement with my parents to meet at friends in Berlin if we get this, uh, you know, someplace else uh, to. Oh, I'm. Um, so, because my father was drafted by the Germans, and he was a prisoner of war in France, in the Navy, but he was on land, he wasn't on a boat. And so, I didn't know where he was when I was in Berlin, and I didn't know what happened to my mother. She was on her own, left in our hometown, and she was taken by the Russians too to work for them, but then she got out with the help of some mother. Uh, people that lived in that area, and, and she got to Berlin. So the second time when I went to Berlin, they could see me outside of the door, and they didn't open the door, but they called my mother to go open the door, and that was something else. A reunion, you know, because we didn't know where we were before. So then I told her what I was going to do. I was planning to go to the American zone. Well, this was a Russian zone in Berlin. And then we had to go through the English zone and then into the American zone. So I had to do this because I was serve, uh, working for the army. And then anyway, so I told her to stay till I get where I wanted to go and get a place to live and a job. And, but she didn't listen to me. Two weeks later, she started out on her own to cross the border into the American zone. And she got down there where I first went because I, I worked with a gal that had married a man of in, from Landshut in Germany. That's the American zone already. And so, and, and she was there, and so um, I, um, I went there first. And from there I found a job near Munich in a laboratory. And then, and while I was still in the other town, my mother showed up again, you know, because she didn't wait for me to tell her when to come. And so then we were together in, when I found a job and a place to live. And then, this is so exciting too, because my dad, I don't know how he remembered to write to my aunt here in, in America about him where he was, because they get this, those Red Cross cards, you know, the double cards. You, ex you uh, can write an answer to where you want to. And he wrote to my aunt, so she know where he was. And when I was in a Western, uh, in the, the American zone, I threw some military personnel because there was a big air base uh, on, outside of Munich where we lived. There, um, I asked a soldier to write, write a letter. I will write the letter to my aunt, but he is supposed to send it as his letter because the, the civilian mail did not go yet. And so we did that, and so my aunt knew where we were, and so right away she sent a card to my dad. So he knew where we were, and he was supposed to be discharged that day to an uncle in Germany. And when he got that card from my aunt about us, and uh, so he knew where to go, to Munich. Now isn't that God's guidance? put us together again. So it's just, I can't do anything else but praise the Lord for all this guiding and leading.